All right, you guys, so I am here today to show you this pre-poo um, disclaimer. This pre-poo is very similar to nappy-headed jojobas DIY pre-poo. A couple of things are different, of course, with aloe vera, fresh aloe vera plant being the main source. Um, there are two things that I think really make this particular pre-poo. The coconut vinegar, and the Talia Wajid, the Great Detangler. Now, of course, I could say get you a conditioner with great slip, but this bad boy is fabulous. So if you can get your hands on this particular product, I will say use it. The footage that I had of me actually making the pre-pull, I accidentally deleted it. Now, we'll have a picture in between here if I, if I haven't shared it already. The pre-pull consists of, I'm going off memory, um, half a cup of aloe vera, three tablespoons of this Talia Wajid because that's all I had, half a cup of the coconut swab conditioner, three tablespoons of the coconut vinegar, and three tablespoons of olive oil. Mix it all together fairly well, okay? I'm so sorry. So this is what it looks like. Yes, yeah, very thick. Um, I may get questions, can I keep this in the, can I, how long can I keep it? I say in the refrigerator for three to four days because olive vera can be very sticky, slimy. Excuse the background, he's playing with his leg up, girl. Now what I'm gonna do is section my hair off, lightly mist my hair with water, and then apply the pre-poo. Now I know that there are several of you that feel like pre-poo is just an extra step, girl. Like why would I want to have my wash day longer? The, because the reason for this is that I feel like the pre-poo actually prepares yourself for the wash and I found that for myself, especially since I have thick 4C hair, 4 category hair, excuse me. Um, I find for me personally that my wash day is not as long. So washing, conditioning goes like that. Seriously, when I pre-poo. You'll get used to the process too, but I understand it's, it could seem like an extra why the heck step, but trust me, once you start doing it, your hair will love you for it. All right, you guys, let me hush up, start sectioning off my hair, and we will begin applying the pre-poo. All right, you guys, so you didn't see footage of this, but I actually did spray my hair with warm water before applying the pre-poo. Now, this goes on really well, and I actually prefer this more so than my previous um, recipe I used that was very similar to Nappy Head Hojobas recipe, excuse me. Um, I'm gonna be very heavy-handed with this product, y'all. You're gonna see me um, rake this through my hair, and then I'm gonna use a mix of my wooden comb and a goodie comb that I purchased a while back. But I primarily am going to finger detangle my hair. I'm going back to finger detangling. If I feel like I need to use a tool, uh, throughout my regimen I will do so but yeah going back to basics going back to basics one thing I do want to note is that my original recipe for this I did rattle off the recipe but my original recipe called for more of the Talia Wajid product and I will be having that in the description box okay Ryan Little <laughs> Yoga.
Brian Little. <laughs> detangled and ready to jump in the shower girl so that is it you guys thank you so much for watching and thank you as always to all new subscribers take care bye